Good morning guys from our next video here in Jordan and we're up bright and early because we got our man coming to pick us up. How we doing? Good morning. And uh, we're going to be heading over to the Dead Sea which is about uh, 50 kilometers away, yeah? Yeah. And that's what, one hour drive to get there? Around the one hour, yeah. One hour drive, sweet. So we got a lot planned for the day and we're going to be getting started bright and early. So excited for that guys, let's head on over. So even though it's a pretty short drive over to the Dead Sea, it's a very enjoyable one. We are cruising through the mountains, probably about 15, 20 minutes outside of Amman now, and it is incredible. You can see like almost uh, 20, 30 kilometers into the horizons down there. Definitely going to be a place we're going to begin the drone up for you guys here later today. I'm excited for it. Mosa, what's your favorite part about the Dead Sea? You ever gone uh, put the mud all over your face in the salt? Me or really? you? No, I'm not gonna be able to have time to go to the beach to do it. No? And uh, I need uh, to walk there. No, have you visited it before? Before, yeah, of course. I've done it before many times. Yeah, it's and nice? It's nice, yeah. It's, uh, it makes your uh, skin very soft. Oh, okay. It's healthy for your skin. Oh, that's gonna be great. Alright, I think Mose is saying we're seeing some green areas coming out there way in the distance. It's starting to look a little less like a desert out here. And we got the Jordan Valley way out there in the distance. Oh, there we go. So as you can see guys right there, that statue is marking the level of where the sea is. So if the uh, ocean somehow reached here, it would be up to this level right there if you can see that mark. And uh, Mosa's telling us that uh, once we get down to the Dead Sea, it's going to be about 10 degrees warmer, 10 degrees Celsius warmer than it is in Amman, Jordan. And also, it is the lowest point on Earth that is land below sea level. So we're 400 meters below sea level? Around 400. Uh, wow. So uh, I actually had no idea until Mosa tell us, told us that. So that's actually quite fascinating. I didn't know we were going so far below sea level, but it makes sense because this whole time we've just been cruising downhill slowly uh, seeping down into below the sea so that's uh that's very unique and we're what about 20 minutes away mm -hmm. 20 minutes to the dead sea yeah minutes. perfect perfect making a quick pit stop over here the boys need to get some energy in us so we'll see if they've got any uh coffee Oh yeah, I smell the coffee in here. Good morning, good morning. Oh yes, this is traditional Jordanian coffee. Hi. Hello, salam alaikum. Uh, can we get some, uh, would you like a coffee? Mosa? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, coffee bro? Yes please. Oh, how's, yeah. how's your sugar? Uh, hmm? How's your sugar? Sugar, uh, yeah, yeah. Let's do sugar. Uh, actually, you want to order it your way? Yeah, you have to. Ask me, uh, we'll take uh, Mumkin Azbak Tlete coffees, Amol Maruf, and how, how should we get them? <laughs> yeah, you like that Arabic? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is what a, uh, a gas station looks like here in in between Amman and the Dead Sea. Honestly, it looks pretty similar to uh, gas stations I've seen around the world. We've got some uh, nice juices in here. I might have to get a little something, something. You want a juice, Harry? Might as well get something, a little energy, and let's get a coffee, get, you know, get the hydration oh, fluids. I got a fly attacking me right now. Oh, They're pretty good prices here. So we're looking at um, juice boxes, apple juice that'll run us about uh, 0.2 JD, so 25 cents. It's not too bad. It's not too bad, I'd say. And yeah, they've got a bunch of different snacks in the aisles, tissues. But I will say, like, there's not really much decor inside of these gas stations out here. It's kind of nice, though. You know, makes a little plane. You just know exactly where you need to go. All right, oh, and this is this is how he makes the uh, the good stuff. There, he loads it up in there, gets her going. Uh, Arabic or Turkish? Turkish coffee? This. Ah, okay. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. You, you tell me. We'll have we'll have we'll have whatever. Mm -hmm. Whatever he has, whatever he has. No, 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 it's a Zane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to confuse you. 
pretty much. <laughs> this, is, this is Harry speaking Arabic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You changed the whole order. Oh, hello, Saipe. Oh, I'm already there. No, 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 no. Oh, oh Mosi, you didn't have to do that. Most is a really nice guy here. One, one thing I'm going to tell you here is uh, if you guys need a driver, you're coming around to Jordan, he'll take you to Petra, he'll take you to the Dead Sea, he'll take you to Jirash, he'll take you anywhere Hello. you need to go. Hello. And, and he's really good in English too, Thank so you. and he's a nice guy. Thank he's, you. Uh, Thank way you. too kind. He literally just paid for us when we weren't looking. That was really nice of him. So I'll put, a, I'll put his WhatsApp number and the link in the description below in case Thank you guys want to send him a message. He, he's our guy. He's our guy. Oh yeah, we're, very much, Lisa. We're getting her brewed up here, yeah. Oh, let's get her going. Mm mm mm. And let's let's see how he pours it. Oh, it just dumps her in. It almost looks like a chocolate slushy in there. Mm mm mm. Yeah. Zane coffee. <laughs> Shukran Chaye. Shufak. Right. All right. It was a nice little visit here. Got some coffees going and. Uh, Mm. Oh, that's hot. All right, we're back on the road. So this is a traditional Jordanian coffee, yeah? Yeah. All right, I think it's cooled down enough for me to give a proper taste of it. Oh, oh yeah, a little sugar, that does the trick. Mm -mm. Mm. That is good. So we're cruising here through the uh, Jordan Valley. Quite a few uh, military checkpoints right there. It looks like we got a cop with a uh, car. Probably shouldn't film them, so I'm gonna turn it this way. And uh, a lot of shops around this area. I can tell we're getting closer to the Dead Sea because there's a lot more just uh, restaurants and shops and quite a bit of development. Looks like there's some new construction over there in the distance. Nice views though. All right guys, we're starting to see some views of the Dead Sea here. We just got to Suema. Oh, it looks like we've got some Jordanian traffic going on right here guys. We got Jordanian traffic right here. We got a semi truck and a camel. And we got a horse over there. Salam alaikum. Oh, he's got the camel. What does he say? No, not right now. Not right now. He asked me to stop. He asked me to stop. Oh, yeah. To allow you to. Okay. Oh, we got the Ramada Resort, guys. That's where we're going to be uh, getting dropped off. Yeah, we, uh, maybe we'll ride a camel another day, we'll see. Oh, we got more Jordanian traffic coming up here. That's about 2,000 sheeps. Oh, wow. Wow, we got a lot going on. Oh, goats as well. Oh, we got goats in there too, and a donkey? Donkey. Wow, all right, this is pretty sweet. And we're coming up to the uh, Ramada Resort, which is hidden right back in here. Most is telling us that uh, there's a lot of like rental apartment units out here too, so you can come hang out, get yourself a little uh, hotel room, you get yourself a, an apartment, uh, Airbnb, a lot of different options for accommodation out here. Looks like an awesome place to check out. We're seeing a whole bunch of them. Salam alaikum, camels. Hello. Kifak, Kifkan. How's the straw? Enjoying some delicious chow over there. Uh huh. I see you. So are these wild camels or people own those? No, it's not wild. Mm. All right, we're coming up to the Ramada right here. Yeah, it's definitely a nice looking hotel. You got your uh, Middle Eastern vibe look into it, or look about it. It's got the uh, yellow sandstone look. Yeah, it looks pretty sweet. Solar panels up top, so it's pretty sustainable based on the first looks. Ramada Resort. All right, here we go. Assalamu alaikum Chaye. The name, sh the name should be under Harry yes. J-A-G-G-A-R-D. You have a reservation, yes? Yeah. Hey. Bite you. Yeah, it's very kind. Yeah, but if, if you pay it, no, no, I it's going to be like... I'm you, yeah, yeah. Nothing. Mosa, thank you, brother. You're welcome. Thank we will you see much. you uh, tomorrow. I have to see you again. Yes, definitely. We will see each other. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mosa. Perfect. Okay, so see you tomorrow. Mosa, I will message you. Shukran Chaye. 
Shufak. Take care. Yeah, thank you, brother. The water is very soft. Don't let this water come to your eyes. Yeah, don't put it in the eyes, okay. right? Okay. Yeah, just All stay right. in your back. Yeah, perfect. We'll do okay. that. Enjoy your okay. time. See you All tomorrow. Right. Thank See you, tomorrow. you, brother. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. All right, we're arriving to uh, Ramada. Hello. Salam alaikum. Uh, we got the full-on metal detector here. Salam alaikum. All right, and we're here. Salam alaikum. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Yes. How are you, Jagad? Can I have one passport, please? We got Sohoid who's going to be uh, checking us in, yeah? You know, you'd be the man if you could hook us up with an early check-in. You know? Yeah, Habibi, Kalazo. The squad here at uh, Ramada are hooking us up. They just upgraded us to the premium room. Thanks to Nada. Appreciate it. Thank you guys. Shukran. Shukran. All right. So far, the uh, entrance into here has been awesome. They let us check in like five or six hours early and upgraded us on the room. It's a cool place. They're walking in. A nice, large, open atmosphere here. Very inviting. And there's a lot of stuff, a lot of amenities. We have pool and beach, oasis, spa, fitness center. They even have a shuttle that will bring us down to the beach, which we'll show you guys in the next video. Today we're going to head up to the room and uh, show you guys a quick tour of the room and the amenities of this place. And so let's do it. We're heading up to the fourth floor here, 448. We got the good old penthouse right there. Shut them. I like this. They call it the Chillax Lounge. That's how you know this is the spot. All right, heading up. Four forty-eight. All right, ours is the very last one then. Here we are, four forty-eight. The room of kings. Let's see. Let's see what premium room means at Ramada. All right, coming in and. There we go. Oh, you probably gotta put the card. Is there like yeah. a place to put the card in? Let's get some sunlight in here. Oh, there we go. All right, guys. So here's the uh, official room tour. A pretty uh, nice sized bathroom. Shower's looking good. Modern amenities. Some shampoo. Sweet because like a week ago I left my shampoo in Lebanon, so don't have that anymore. And we got uh, a nice looking room. How's that bed, bro? Yeah, Comfortable? Oh, yeah. Let's, let's try it out here. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be passed out for like 12 hours tomorrow. Yeah, that's great. A little working desk over here and coming out. What do we got going on out here? A little balcony? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. We are out here with views. Oh, and we got the pool down there. A swim up bar, too. We have uh, the Dead Sea all along here. We've got camels right there in the distance and a really awesome place, water slides even. So we've got quite a bit to show you around the resort here, guys. So now the real test is we're gonna connect to the Wi-Fi here. So Ramada guest and we are connected. Now time to do a handy dandy speed test. Go. Connecting. How's the Wi-Fi looking? Not strong. Oh, maybe I gotta come inside. That's probably gonna do the trick. Connecting, connecting. 14 megabytes a second. All right. And then upload speeds. All right. 13 megabytes a second. 14. Yeah, definitely not the best I've ever had, but you know, it's pretty decent for being out here in the desert. So we're gonna go ahead and freshen up and I'll see you in just a little bit. All right, we got the swimsuits on. It's holiday time, bro, you ready? Yeah. Let's go check out the amenities in this place. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam. All right, head on down. We got a business center here too. Grind session tonight. Do some business mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The true question is, is the fitness center gonna be open during COVID here? So we will find out. All right, we have arrived. Fitness center and spa. It's not looking promising. Oh, yes, it is. 
Salaam alaikum. Is there a fitness center? Fitness center? It's open? Uh, I wanted to take a look at it, yeah? Thank you. All right, let's see what we got for uh, gym amenities in here. Oh, we can get a solid workout, I'd say. What do you think? I wasn't expecting it to be open, so. I know, we got lucky. Oh, yeah, let's get it. No curls, no girls, bro. <laughs> Never stop. Oh, I gotta, you know, you gotta switch off one arm here. You, go, you don't want uneven arms. <laughs> oh, there we go. Quick little workout. I can say you got a solid gym session, and then yeah, we'll have to do a, a proper visit later. Thank you. Thank you. All right. You're not gonna get a, a massage, bro. Uh, I think we might need to get massages in a bit, massage? bro. Oh, we got a massage chair too. Ooh. Yeah, we might have to make a visit. And this will bring us to the pool and the beach. All right, we got all day dining here. They're getting this place set up for some chow. Oh, the beach, yes. Okay. Oh, all right, we're getting kicked out. All right, this is a sweet looking place. Place definitely has the uh, resort feel to it. Just walking out, you got a massive cafeteria that we showed you a sneak peek over there. Walking past it now, and now we're walking towards the pool. As you can see over here, that is looking good. And it is such a nice temperature right now. It's probably like, it's probably like 25 Celsius at the moment with, uh, oh, is that a hot tub right there? All right, let me test it out. Oh, no, that's a cold tub. That is a cold tub. Let's test this one out. Oh, that is a cold tub too. But uh, it'll be refreshing. I thought that was a hot tub right there. Cold. But it's ice cold. Oh, yes, yeah. that's my one. I was like, this looks great. Uh, no diving. Yeah. So you gotta slide right in those DMs. <laughs> Let's see how cold it is. Over here. Oh, that's like uh, Harry's cold shower trick. Nah, that's Let's not see. cold. That's ice cold, bro. Let me die. That's a polar plunge. We'll find out in just a second here. Oh, you lost your glasses, bro. Oh. They're sinking. It's cold? <laughs> I probably got to jump in, don't I? All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, pain, as they always, whenever I'm about to jump into cold water, I always just repeat in my mind, pain is weakness, leaving the body, pain is weakness, leaving the body, pain is weakness, leaving the body, pain is weakness, leaving the body. Here we go, here we go. Oh, oh that is ice cold. That is ice cold. Ah. Oh, that is a refreshing one, but good for the immune system. Right, bro? Yeah, man. Should we head over to those water slides? Are you telling yourself that? Oh, yeah. That's what they want you to think at least. Oh, ooh. All right, let's see if we can get on this water slide. Doesn't look like it's open, but we're about to find out. Oh, a little slippery over here. Oh, might end up falling on my way in. It's a nice vibe, it's a little quiet here right now. Oh, here's the swim up bar over here. Looks like all non-alcoholic beverages in there. Yep, all non-alcoholic beverages. I could tell from that far away. All right, let's see how we get on this water slide. Hello. This is the fun water slide? Okay, that's uh, five minutes. Five minutes? Oh, okay, sweet. Nice. All right. Five minutes from now. Kifak Haye. Hello, Kifak Nora. Yeah, shwe, shwe Arabic. <laughs> Everyone's like crazy. Yeah, people are always confused. <laughs> they're probably, probably a little nervous. They're like, oh shit, if we're telling, but they're probably saying like, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna say it's broken. <laughs> and they're like, wait, he understands. <laughs> corona? Oh no, you're gonna say it's because of Corona? No, oh, halas. No, bira, bira, Corona. Oh, bira, bira. You have, there's Corona here. There's Corona. Yeah, she looks like a fast one. What do you think? Uh, oh, it hasn't been used in a while. That's probably why they were. I think that's why they're trying to figure out why we couldn't go on it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna be the first ones going on the slide. Nothing too crazy. I've been on bigger ones. 
Just a little baby one we'll go cruising down on. Oh, there we go. We're clearing, we're clearing off the leaves. Mm -hmm. You ready for this, bro? The adrenaline. <laughs> yeah. Oh, which one you going for? You want to race? Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll do this one then. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go, bro. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. Got some serious speed on that one. <laughs> All right, that was one of them. We're going to try the... Uh, the other slide, the twist one. All right. This time we'll try going, uh, uh, laying down. Yeah. You racing on this one, bro? I don't step on that. Oh shit! Really? Yeah. Here we go. Yalla! Ah, kind of ripped the back. Oh yeah, that's a, it's a slow cruiser. Oh, we're getting speed. Let's go. Got some solid ad adrenaline rush on that one. Uh, it was a fun little pool sesh, get the uh, adrenaline kicking, but uh, Perry and I are gonna see if we can search for some chow here. It's about 11, 12 a.m. So we're kind of in that period where it's after breakfast, but before lunch. So I guess we'll find out here if we're gonna be eating here or if we're gonna have to head into Swayam. That's probably not even how you say it. A little bonfire pit down there too? Shweya. Shweya. No, I didn't know. Swaymia? Swayma. I think it's Swayma. Oh, Sunset Terrace. I'm guessing by the name though, it's probably not gonna be open until later. Yeah. Hard to say. Decent prices though. Pizza Margarita, six JD, pepperoni eight. So like 10 bucks at a hotel, at a resort. It's actually pretty reasonable. All right, it looks like we can get some chow over here. Let's see what they've got. Maybe some sort of swim up bar type of menu here. Salam alaikum. Ah, they do the food that we saw. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna get myself a little pepperoni pie. Uh huh, uh huh. Kifa kaye. Meshal hal? Perfect, perfect. Um, Mumkin Azbak Wahid pepperoni pizza, more maruf. Coca Cola. Molma roof and Yugo? Uh, does that come with anything? The chicken breast. Does it come with anything? Chicken and breast? Yeah, anything on the side? With fries, with yeah. salad? With fries? Yeah. Chicken breast with fries, please. Shukran Khaye. Shukran. Uh, Chicago, uh, United States, and United Kingdom. Right, we got the food arriving here. That's a nice little pep pie. Mm -mm -mm. Chicken breast. We got that thing loaded up with some mushrooms. Yeah, man. Shukran. All right, let's try out the, uh, the za here. Oh, that's hot, fresh off the pot. Oh, that's good. Yeah? That's really good. They can make a good pizza out here in Jordan. Mm-mm-mm. Mm, get that thing up straight, brother. Oh, it's like a proper chicken breast. Mmm. Gosh. Anywhere in the world, I love the za. It is that good. What do you think? Should we hook up our, our friend down here? Make sure no one's looking. And suck 10. <laughs> Enjoy, my little friend. Mmm, pepperoni. Nom, 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 nom. Mmm. Yum, yum, yum. Enjoy. Hello little one, you attacked me. You just clawed me for more pepperoni. That's not how you ask nicely for more food. I had my hand sitting down there and he just swats it. You gotta be nice, you gotta say please. Look at how many flies we got here. They're all sipping my Coca-Cola. How's that taste? Mmm, delicious, huh? It's not the resort's fault, it's just simply we're in the desert and we're eating food outside, so. That's what you get when you're out here in nature near the Dead Sea. Some hungry flies and cats, just like you. Yes, I'm talking about you, Chaye. How was the food, bro? Yeah, very good. Yeah? It's quite a big portion. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. Really nice. There we go. Looks like we paid 18 JOD. So, yeah, about 22 US bucks, I'd say, for us to eat a pretty good meal. So you guys, that's pretty much most of the tour of the Ramada Resort, where we're gonna be staying one night here. Amenities are great, food is good, and uh, are, are great, I'd say. And the staff here is very nice. They've been so accommodating since we've arrived. 
So yeah, that's pretty much where I'll end it, except I can share with you that if you're looking to come to the Dead Sea, sometimes people say it's hard to get here. So there's a couple ways. You have my, uh, my buddy Mosa, really nice guy. He charged us 23 uh, Jordanian dinar. So that's for him to drive us all the way here, drop us off, and then he had to drive back to Amman. So it's about almost 30 US dollars for us to get here, split two ways, 15 bucks a person for one way. And you know, some people do a day trip out to the Dead Sea and come back. We wanted to kind of get the resort experience, share that with you guys. And in the next video, we'll be going much further into the Dead Sea, sharing what it's like to swim in a very salty body of water, as well as do the mud stuff to our faces. So that'll be a good video, make sure you watch for it. And uh, yeah, other than that, if you don't want to use Mosa, you can also take an Uber from Amman. I don't know if you can call one back here, but I can check for you guys right now just so you know. If I can call an Uber from here. Yeah, it says right here, unfortunately Uber is unavailable in your area. So it seems like it's just in Amman where you're gonna have that option to call uh, for an Uber. So to get here, you can take the Uber and then you'll have to figure out another way to get back. So hopefully that helps you guys. It's an amazing place out here. So I hope if you're coming to Jordan, you'll make it out to the Dead Sea area. And as I mentioned, make sure you watch out for tomorrow's video because we're going to be heading into the Dead Sea. So as always, thanks so much for watching and we will see you then. If you can smash that like button, it helps so much. And if you want to see all those videos, both here in Jordan and all around the world, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one.